Exhaustion perks are used to get a lot of distance in a short amount of time. Today, I took all the exhaustion perks, put them in a tier list so you can see which ones are the best and which ones are not so good. Enjoy. So let's start with a sprint burst in the SS tier. It's the only perk in the SS tier. And I think this perk is absolutely amazing. This is my main exhaustion perk. Just because this perk does what every other exhaustion perk does, but better. Just because if you're good with the perk, you can uh, do this thing called 99ing your exhaustion bar to where your exhaustion bar almost runs out. And anytime you start walking it'll all go away and then you can start running again and use sprint burst so if you're good enough with this perk you can basically use it on demand which in my opinion makes it better than every other exhaustion perk uh just because it's not situational you can use it anywhere uh, if you're working on a generator that's in the middle of nowhere suddenly that generator is safe you can use it in chase if you 99 it uh it's just an extremely good all-around exhaustion perk and in my opinion the best exhaustion perk in the game if used well next up in the s tier we have lithe which i think is a great perk for beginners I think it's probably the best exhaustion perk for beginners. And the perk is super simple. If you fast vault a window, you get a speed boost. Not only is this really good in chase, uh, just because, you know, unlike sprint burst where you kind of have to consciously keep thinking about using it all the time, lithe, you just fast vault a window and then boom, it works. That is super simple to use. And it's great in chase too. There's a lot of times where I'll be chasing a survivor and they'll find a really crappy pallet. They'll drop it and instantly vault it to use lithe. So it works on windows and pallets. Even if the if a map doesn't have a lot of windows, you can still use it on palette. Overall, amazing perk. Then in the A tier, we have four perks and I'll start with the, the best one in the tier and that's Balance Landing. Now, in my opinion, Balance Landing could be on the level of Lithe, but most maps in the game don't have that many drop downs. Behavior has gotten a lot better with this. As of recent, they've been adding, you know, hills and little structures you can jump off of, uh, especially on the newer maps. But most maps don't have uh, as many drop downs as there are windows, which puts Lithe over Balance Landing. Still though, Balance Landing is also a great beginner perk just because it's super simple to understand if you drop from a high place you get a speed burst not only does it stop the sound of you falling but it stops the stagger too so i find this perk to be very useful for beginners and i think it's the best perk in the a tier out of these three other perks overall very solid exhaustion perk and it's you know it's not far behind from from live next up we have overcome which i initially was gonna put a bit higher but then i played with it a little bit and and the perk is solid but there's a couple problems with it number one one, you can only use it when you're healthy because if you're injured, obviously you just go down. So that's one thing. And the other thing is that it's actually pretty hard to use. Most people in the game can't even use the initial speed burst right. This perk adds an extra two seconds to the speed burst. So this is the kind of perk that only really good players can use. A lot of bad players don't really know what to do after getting hit sometimes they'll stay at the same loop which is a terrible idea unless there's like zero pallets on the map but that's really rare so not only is the perk hard to use but it has the condition of you have to be healthy to use it because otherwise you don't really get to use it you know sprint burst live balance lighting they don't have that problem where you need to be either healthy or injured speaking of a lot of conditions the next perk is dead hard dead hard on paper doesn't look that bad because you know there's a lot of people that make good looking plays with it because they'll run into the killer they'll get Get hit and then they get a ton of distance but this perk has so many conditions number one you have to be injured number two you have to be hooked and number three you actually have to time the dead hard this perk is the only perk on this list that can be completely wasted if the killer just waits a little bit for it then this perk can be completely wasted making it you know not the best if you don't know the killer all that well that you're playing against if you don't know they're good or bad, you don't know if they're going to wait for it, if they're not going to wait for it, if they're going to launch. In my opinion, it's it's a bit too situational. However, when it works, it's really nice. Sure, the distance you gain from the perk is less than other exhaustion perks, but you do have to keep in mind that the killer is pretty much stuck while after hitting you since they're in the, you know, the wiping their blade animation or whatever. The perk actually gives you, I think, either the same or a little bit more distance than other perks. But in my opinion, it's just way too situational for it to be considered a good perk. Next up is the reason I had to remake this video and that's background player. As I was editing this video, they actually came out with the patch notes of them reworking the perk, but in my opinion, it's more of a nerf. So what they changed is that they made it so it went from 200% speed to 150, and they made the exhaustion time 20 seconds instead of 40. In my opinion, the only thing that made this perk good was the 200% speed, because now what's the difference between running this perk and like 99 sprint burst to go for a save? Not much, right? Uh, it was the 200% speed that made this perk crazy. The 20 second exhaustion timer is kind of nice, but 
but really how often are you gonna be sticking around the killer going for saves like every 20 seconds that means you're probably not on generators too much so in my opinion we'll have to see how this one plays out this is just my guess like my uneducated guess on how this perk will land once the patch notes once the patch notes hit live not a bad perk at all it's still gonna be really good for pallet saves but a bit less for flashlight and flashbang saves. Then in B tier, we have the last two perks, Smash Hits and Dramaturgy. Smash Hit and Dramaturgy. And Smash Hit is actually pretty decent. It gives you, I think, four seconds of haste instead of three seconds, unlike the other exhaustion perks. And it has a 20 second timer instead of a 40 second timer. Still, with all that taken into account, there's a lot of killers that just ignore pallet stuns. Some killers respect it. Um, it's, You're just not gonna consistently get to use this perk a whole lot. If you're on this perk with something like Parental Guidance, it can be really good for losing the killer honestly even though it's really niche it's actually not as bad as people make it out to be it's definitely usable and lastly the worst exhaustion perk in my opinion is dramaturgy and that's for one main reason well two main reasons it's conditional meaning you have to be uh, healthy to use it and also it's not consistent it has an rng factor where you either get the speed burst which is what you want that that would make this perk a lot better if that was guaranteed uh get exposed get uh you scream or you get an item it's adding RNG to an exhaustion perk is just not going to make it good. It's a fun perk. It's a cool perk to use. But in my opinion, it makes it the worst exhaustion perk just because it's based on RNG. I mean, it is true that you can't get the same effect twice. So if you get exposed the first time, you know you're not going to get exposed the second time. But still, to me, it's just way too random for this perk to be considered good. And that also applies for getting the speed burst. So if you get the speed burst the first time, you know you're not getting it the second time. So overall the worst exhaustion perk in my opinion and yeah that's pretty much it i'll have two more videos up on screen let me know what you thought of this if you agree or disagree and yeah thank you for watching peace